10. All right, here's 10 here. See, you got it. Lift up just like you can. Sweet Bryce. Hey, Stacy and Jeff, thank you so much. Uh, John Cullen here with you alongside Melissa Saligo uh, for this women's semifinal that you set up uh, so beautifully for us, Melissa. This, uh, this promises to be a great game between, uh, between Clancy and Taylor. It does, John, and sorry, and, and yes, it, it's going to be a great game for sure. I, I'm expecting a lot from both of these teams, and they've traveled different uh, paths to get here, but I'm expecting that we'll see some really great curling today, and uh, um, I'm probably lots of different shots. Yeah, no question about it. As we join this game in progress, we're about halfway through the first end here, and it's been uh, a fairly uneventful first end as... The two teams have been trading hits. Clancy Grandy starting with the hammer by virtue of their round robin finish, or sorry, rather their knockout finish, winning the B final. And so this is uh, for Reese Hansen, just a, a chance to maybe get used to this ice surface. We saw Clancy Grandy getting to play on this sheet F last night, Melissa. I would imagine that's maybe a, a slight advantage for them as they're they're using the same rocks and on the same sheet that they used last night. 11. Oh, very big. Okay. 11. 11 and a half. Stay close. More yep. than the last one. Whoa, 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 So a nice hit and roll there from Kayla McMillan. And so Megan McGilvery will chase after this one. Okay, John, I, I think I'm back with you now. And, uh... Clean! Clean! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Clean! 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 Yep! 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 And a nice shot there from the Reese Hansen third rolling out into the open. Clancy Grandy will sweep that into the back 12. And so it's now really starting to look like we might be heading for a blank end here. So Kayla McMillan, last year's uh, finalist, last year's silver medalist. 
looking to find her way back into the final with her teammates Lindsay Dubé and Sarah Loken. Clancy Grandy, of course, the new addition to the squad this year. And this will be our first look at Taylor Reese Hansen. As Jeff and Stacy said, out of the Victoria and Kamloops Curling Clubs. Just to end. Yeah. It's pretty gradual in this spot. You can see there they uh, defeated Kristen Ryan last night in the Page 3-4 game to find themselves in this women's semifinal. And it's actually been quite a crazy road for Reese Hansen to get here. She uh, dropped down to the C final, played Shauna Jensen, needed two in the 10th end and a steal in the extra end to beat Jensen. She pulled that feed off and then replicated it again last night against Kristen Ryan, needed two in 10 and then played a phenomenal extra end, left Kristen Ryan with a very difficult double run back, which she was not able to execute. And so that's why Reese Hansen finds herself here in the semifinals and will make no mistake on that open hit. So Clancy Grandy will look to execute the same feat. If you tuned in with us last night, you uh, you know Clancy Grandy having a phenomenal year on tour, ranked number 13 in the world, ranked number six in the Canadian tour ranking system. One of the, uh, the top ladies teams right now on the go and we'll see uh, if they're full value for that here in this semifinal, but as we know, anything can happen. Taylor Reese Hansen, for comparison's sake, sake, ranked 108th in the world. So almost a full 100 spots between these two teams in the world rankings. But as we know, I mean, they made a whole movie about it. Any given Sunday, or in this case, any given Saturday, things can happen. And We'll see what they can do here. Oh, another open hit for Taylor Reese Hansen. She'll look to stick this one to force Grandy into a blank or into having to throw for a blank rather, doesn't want to give her just a, a free throw through the house. shot there from Taylor Reese Hansen and so it will be Clancy Grandy chasing the blank here in end number one. So final stone here in the first end for Clancy Grandy. Yep. 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 Needs to make the yellow go away and roll her blue out. Sarah Loken picking this up early. And an unforced error there from Clancy Grandy here in end number one, looking for the blank and does not find it. And so she will score one. Taylor Reese Hansen will have the hammer for the first time when we come back. You're watching the BC Scotties women's semifinal.
Blake here. Okay. Hello, curling fans, and welcome back. The BC Scotties semifinal here, live from Chilliwack, British Columbia. John Cullen with you. Melissa Saligo should hopefully be joining me shortly. She's having some tech issues that we're just uh, trying to work through ready? here, but shouldn't be too much longer Good. before yeah, she's uh, back yeah. here and yeah. making Three. me look Line better down. at this Line than down. I am. I think it's going to Sydney Brills Good. looking to Three. throw up the corner guard Good. here. Good. Seems like Reese Hansen Good. would like to have maybe some more rocks in play this end now that they have the hammer. As I said earlier, Reese Hansen taking sort of the long way through this uh, this event, went through the C event to get here. They started out with a win over Diane Gushalak before losing to the current finalist who's waiting for the winner of these two teams, Corinne Brown. They then rebounded with a 10-6 win over Sheila Cowan before losing the B final to Kristen Ryan, or the B semifinal rather and then rebounded with a win over Shauna Jensen, 7-6. And then as we said, beat Kristen Ryan last night in the page 3-4 game, 7-6 for Clancy Grandy. If she wasn't playing a team named Brown, she'd be undefeated. Her only two losses are to Corinne Brown in two barn burners, losing 10-8 and 12-8 in those two games, but beat Sheila Cowan, 9-3, Kristen Ryan, 12-7, and then Kristen Ryan again in the B final, 9-3. Nice shot there from Sydney Brills to make that freeze. And Melissa, I believe you're back with me now. We're all good. I think we are good. Yes, there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Nothing ever works the way you want it to, but we're here now. No. We're live, second end, feeling good. And and Melissa, I, I gotta, I gotta wonder, you know, if you're Clancy Grandy, uh, Stacy and Jeff sort of mentioned this off the top of the show that, you know, kind of a disappointing loss to Corinne Brown last night. They got that four ender in the fifth end. They were leading seven three going into the break. Ended up getting outscored nine to one in the second half of the game. And then they come out here and a bit of an error from Clancy Grandy in the first end, having the chance for the blank ends up sticking. Is that maybe a little bit of a, you know, a hangover from last night? Well, it's hard to say, John, for sure. And, and you know, Clancy and her team, whole team were very, very disappointed in the way things unfolded in the last half of the game last night, for sure. But this is a team that's very experienced and they've been through a lot of ups and downs in, in their careers and their season and even in this week. So I'm pretty sure they parked it and, uh, you know, it was just a little bit of a mishap there on that first end. Um, obviously, Clancy looking for the blank and uh, gets her one. But you know what? Scoring a point to get this game started, never a bad thing either. So I think she'll let that one go and, and start focusing on the, the next end and game to come. Great shot there from Sierra Fisher and a nice start to the, the game for this team from the Victoria and Kamloops Curling Clubs. And Melissa, you know, being a, a long time proponent of Victoria Curling yourself, uh, you know, tell me a little bit about what you know about Taylor Reese Hans and me being, uh, you know, a, a filthy mainlander. I, I haven't seen her play probably as much as you have. What can you tell me about Taylor Reese Hansen? Taylor herself is such a great shot maker. I had the privilege of coaching Taylor at the uh, Canada uh, Uni University um, Championships when uh, they represented, uh, sorry, at the college ones when they represented Kamosin. And honestly, she, you know, she can make the big shots when she needs to. She can make the draws for the button when she needs to. Um, you know, sometimes uh, she can be a little bit inconsistent, but that doesn't happen very often. She is a tremendous, tremendous shot maker and she's has great strategy as well and having their coach uh, Todd Troyer and also their fifth player Daylene um, has really in incorporated everything into her game and she learns as she goes and she makes changes as she goes so we'll see some great things from her today. 
Yeah, certainly her on-paper accomplishments, nothing to sneeze at, a, a former BC mixed champion and uh, a former BC junior champion as well, U21 champion, and as you said, uh, competed at the, the Canadian College as well. Sierra Fisher will was looking for the run back there, just make the, the straight peel, but yeah, certainly uh, a lot of experience at these at these big championships where you you know you need to to build your game and I'm uh, I'm looking forward to seeing her in the semifinal. I've you know heard lots about her and you know I yeah. tried to put it out of my mind that she beat me in the <laughs> in the mixed final. I'm trying to forget that, but uh, but yeah, no, she's a, a great shot maker for sure, and her team's been uh, has been great all week long. That's for sure. Halfway, halfway, halfway tight. Well, normally, you know, I, I would say in the past, if you would have asked me if, you know, what kind of game plans we would expect it from these both teams. We talked about it yesterday with Team Grandy. They love, love, love rocks and play, and they like to make, you know, be aggressive, um, you know, more times than not. And Taylor and her team, they used to be more on the defensive side, but they're very comfortable now with more rocks and play. And as you see them progress in their in their curling careers, they're, they're starting to get a better feel, more confidence with putting those rocks in play. And that's what we're doing here you know I had a quick look at at some of the stats throughout throughout the weekend and in the six games that um, Taylor played throughout this week we scored 43 points and Randy's team scored 46 points so very very similar in how aggressive and offensive they are in trying to get points on the board so Megan the Gill are you gonna try and run this guard onto the pile here. It is still Gran Grandy sitting the one without hammer. And Megan will peel that one right on by. So I would imagine Kayla McMillan will be replacing the guard here. And yeah, we certainly saw that last night in the 1-2 game, Melissa. Grandy, no stranger to rocks in play. A lot of big ends and, and as you said, a lot of points scored. And I expect the same thing here this afternoon. They're Always a, a treat to watch as we see there. Team Grandy out of the Vancouver Curling Club. It is Clancy Grandy at skip, Kayla McMillan at third, Lindsay Dubay at second, and Sarah Loken at lead. Katie Witt is the coach. They should curl back a bit. Soon, Scott. Okay. And a lot of experience on this side of the sheet as well. You're talking about the Canadian College Championships. Sarah Loken and Kayla McMillan are former Canadian Collegiate Champions, two times over, representing Douglas College. Lindsay Dubay is looking good, for good her job, third different provincial jacket. She represented both Ontario and Northern Ontario at the Canadian Juniors. She's their import player, currently makes her home in Ottawa and looking to put on uh, a third provincial jacket. And Clancy, a longtime teammate of Ali Flaxy, has played in some Olympic trials. And certainly, as, we've, as we talked about yesterday, I've had a, an amazing year. So Megan McGilvery again looking to run this into the pile. Sydney Brill's trying to hold this. And she will get both blues. Yeah, very important to get rid of that one that was sitting in the top 12 for sure. That's, that was causing a little bit of a problem for Team Reese Hansen. So great shot there by Megan. Yeah, just a bit about the logo guard, the like. Left side. Yeah, yeah. The yellow one. Just get some nice here. Yeah. yeah. Fully up the game speed. Okay. So first stone here for Clancy Grandy in end number two. To the logo. Has been in control all end, looking to right put a guard on it. On the logo, just pass. Lindsay, can you clean Guys, it? can you keep... Lindsay, can you We're clean really it? really tight. To keep it there. That's okay. Okay, line's fine. Little, same spot. So the double just look finish. at the rotation on that stone. We okay. talked about that a Whoa, bit yesterday, John. No, 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 you're good. Both you're Kayla, good. No, no, specifically, no, no. and Clancy throw a ton good, of rotation, good. a very positive release out to the room, and, and they try and do that to hold that rock as straight as possible for as long as possible. So really great. It's great when your third and skip sort of throw the same, so you can kind of put the broom down in the same spot. So great shot there. Does leave the Yellowstone exposed, however, for Taylor. Yeah, it looks as though Taylor thinks here, maybe Melissa, that she can't quite see enough of that yellow. So 
Looks like she's going to be running this blue back. And it looks like you can, I mean, from our vantage point, it does look like you can see about three quarters, but maybe she figure, feels that the angles aren't quite where she needs them to be. So this might be the safer of the two bets. She's trying to get the blue stones. If she can hit this yellow on the broom side, she's trying to get to spill both of the blue rocks going to the right um, of the house. Trying to get everything moving here if she can. And you'll see Taylor as well. She's got some nice positive rotation as well. Sierra Fisher trying to bring this one over. And oh, she will close. move that blue, but not quite far enough. And so Clancy Grandy still lying one. I think so, yeah. Because like if she plays that, I think they're close enough that she's coming into here. Yeah. Or okay. at least on to it. I don't think she's Yeah. I don't think so. I think we'll be okay. We'll take a, another look here at the shot from Taylor Reese Hansen. Just so, missing. Yeah. Yeah. Sierra Fisher trying to carve this one yeah. over so and sure it stay. just doesn't quite curl Plus, enough. Yeah. Very yeah, close. It's hard for yeah, her to, like, get another the inch probably she would have had a yeah, really good I mean, result there, but yeah, still a good result because she has unlocked a lot this. of stuff. So yeah, yeah. Clancy has to be very, very careful here so where she puts this then? guard. Yeah, that looks good. Same spot. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Maybe a hair more for this. Yeah. Uh, no, I think the same spot will pretty much okay. do it. Yeah. I'll try and give you just a hair less so you don't have to be fully lifted. Okay. Just a hair less. Okay. Great conversation there with Clancy and her front end, just talking about how how they're going to throw this rock compared to the previous stone. That gives them all the information that they need and exactly where they want to put this stone. So last rock here for Clancy Grandy. Lindsay, just Lindsay. Trying to guard that Sarah Loken stone. That has been sitting shot for the entire end, but team indicating that it might be over curling and I think she has left a, a, a port here Melissa she most certainly has and and she actually I actually thought out of her hand she threw it back a little bit so I'm surprised to see how much that one curled in comparison to the first one so a great chance here now for Taylor she's she's got lots of room there she's she can throw a kind of a soft weight and like try and stick it for her single but if you see what she's doing here she's she's actually going to try and run one in and go yellow onto yellow onto blue i think unless she's trying yellow onto yellow john and try to double the blue ones off for a big end that's what i think she's looking at yeah yeah because i think, I think that's if exactly you were just trying to score thinking. one you'd probably be throwing through the port i would imagine yeah i, I that's yeah that's the, a good that's point the easier so. shot for one so I, I yeah i think she thinks maybe melissa that hey, that those blues yeah. both go yeah. and she might have a shot yeah. at three here yeah So you yeah, talked about like that aggressiveness, just... Melissa. We're seeing it right here. She's uh, <laughs> taking a shot at three. And, the, and this is such a great shot. I don't think she can hurt herself, and that's the key here, right? Risk versus a reward. I, I don't think she can hurt herself to give up more than one if she does miss it. But what a huge reward if she makes this shot for three. Yeah! So final stone, end number two for Taylor Reese Hansen. Trying for three. Does she have it? Oh, what a great shot. Wow, fantastic shot for the skip from Victoria. Doesn't get all three, but does get two. And so she will take a one point lead into the third end. Clancy Grandy will have the hammer. When we come back, you're watching Czech TV.
Well, Melissa, that was, uh, you know, okay. almost, I have floor. to say, maybe a little Somewhere Nostradamus-like from you. I asked you about Taylor Reese Hansen about five minutes before that final shot, and you said she has the ability to make some big shots, and uh, certainly that came to fruition there at the end of end number two. What a phenomenal shot from, uh, from the skipper. Yes. You know, I, I just, there's so much I could say about that particular shot and, and the outcome of that shot, but what it, it, it says a number of things, John. It not only says she's not afraid to, to throw anything or to play anything, she's willing to take the risks and hope to get some rewards, but it also shows her opposition that she has the confidence to come out and win this game. I know this team expected to be here. I'm not sure if anyone else expected them to be here, but they are such a great young team. And they deserve to be here, and she showed it with that particular shot. Just, just an awesome, awesome shot. Well, I think too. One thing I really liked. Uh, one thing I really liked about it, Melissa, and, and you can probably speak to this a little bit too. But it wasn't even so much that she made it, but she there was no second thought. It was just she went right up there and said, "Nope, I like this. I want to throw this." Megan said, "Well, you know, we could throw this little shot here for one. It's a little bit easier." And Taylor just had that one lined up right away. It was clear that that she wanted to take it on. Yeah, great point. And and uh, like I said, when I coached her at the college, she did that to me a lot. And uh, as a coach, you're like, ah. Oh. But uh, you know, good on her. Good on her for showing uh, the confidence to do that shot, and and, and obviously got the results. So it was just it's just fantastic to see that, and such or so early in this game as well. Well, Kayla. Yeah, we talked earlier about the the rankings disparity between these two teams with uh, with Clancy Grandy ranked number 13 in the world and Taylor Reese Hansen ranked number 108. But Taylor actually has a couple wins over top 20 opposition this year. She beat Isabel Ladisseur all the way back at the U25 Next Gen Classic and Ladisseur is ranked number 16 in the world. And she also has a win over Akue Kitazawa at the uh, the Abbotsford cash spiel this year, the driving force cash spiel in Abbotsford. So, you know, we, we talk again, you know, you say, okay, they're ranked number 108 in the world. Maybe they don't have a chance, but like we said, it's an any given Sunday type of sport. And they've also proven already this year that they can beat uh, really tough competition. Yeah, very, very true. And, and uh, I'm looking forward to this game. If that's any indication of what's about to happen here in the next two hours, John, I think we're in for a good ride. So here's another example of, of things that, you know, it's almost at a point where Taylor doesn't show that much fear. You know, they, she doesn't have Hammer here in the in this third end. Uh, they got a grand team grand. They got a great hit and roll there from Sarah. And instead of playing on that one, they decide to ignore it and come right around to the forefoot area. And just another great shot there. Yeah, really good shot from Sierra Fisher, who is hoping to make it a... Uh... A familial battle, trying to put some pressure on Brian and Teresa to decide who their favorite daughter is, uh, because <laughs> Sam Fish Sam Fisher's already in the final tomorrow, and uh, would be uh, quite the meeting if uh, if Reese Hansen can get there and Sierra can battle Sam, and uh, you know I think it would be uh, would be exciting times in Kamloops if that were to happen. Exciting times for everyone, but maybe the parents until the game's over. I don't know. <laughs> So looking for the corner freeze here now. This one's going to come up a little bit light. Just a little short there, yep, from Lindsay Dubé. Has that path changed? So it's still Reese Hansen laying the single. No, I thought we were there. Okay. It looks like it came off big again. Top 12, tight. So I think if your team Reese Hansen here John, you just want to be a little bit careful. I, I think they called this one maybe tight to the rings. Uh, they likely don't want it in, but I'm not sure how much you can see of that blue stone that's sitting in the top eight. But you just want to be careful not to cover up the entire forefoot area in case Grandy does have that opportunity to make that short run. And then they'll be sitting too buried behind a lot of, a lot of guards here. So, so for Reese Hansen, I, I wouldn't even mind bringing this one right into the rings, which is maybe now what they're doing here. Nice corner freeze. That's a good shot. Yeah, nice result there for Sierra Fisher. Reese Hansen continues to lie one. Try and kill both yellows. Heel. 
So this will force Lindsay Dubé into the run double peel here. quite a bit and that will just go over the top and you hear a little frustration there from Lindsay Dubé is didn't quite get the result out of either of those stones that she would have liked yeah she might have just got that a little bit full and and uh, with that kind of weight it wasn't gonna come back so Megan McGilvery will look to Throw a guard up. Looking for a high guard here. Megan's been such a great addition to this team as well. Maybe a little deeper than they would have liked that, Melissa. Yeah, and I think so. And, and you heard the audible from Taylor. She decided to try and bring it as far as they can and just tap that guard over to protect that blue one. So that was a, a you know a decent result for sure. And I think that Kayla here is going to have to do some cleanup. See if she can get rid of some of these guards here. Kayla McMillan going to try and get some granite moving here. And I don't know how much that helped them. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I mean, it does open it up a little bit on that side. However, it's open for both teams now. So it does leave one of the yellows uh, being third shot in the top of the the house there, so it was a good look at it. Just halfway. You got it, Meg. Everything is the same. So Megan trying to put a, a halfway guard here on uh, protecting that yellow stone, that shot stone on the Added forefoot. The end. Hard early. Sydney Brill's Whoa, on this over early. And over and off, over and off. Where is it? Over and off. Whoa. Over Sounds like this one might be over Whoa. early. No. I think so. So did she leave her a port there, John? They're going to have a look at it and see if they can get one through that port. Blue on to yellow, and it looks like there is. Okay, what weight do you see that with? Like 11? Okay, I like that. Yeah, unfortunate miss there for Megan McGilvery. This may open the door for Team Grandy. They've been chasing this Yellowstone for most of the end. This is a, a great opportunity for Kayla McMillan to get at it. They can even flip their uh, shooter behind that corner guard, ideally, like that. What a fabulous shot there by Kayla. Very nice shot from Kayla McMillan. It's both about getting chances and taking them, Melissa. That was uh, really their first opportunity of the end to make some noise, and Kayla McMillan makes it perfectly. That's so true. You know, it, they've been chasing, Team Granny's been chasing this entire end, and just with that one tiny mistake there by Megan, it looks so far as okay. Kayla made her pay by making that fa phenomenal no, shot. So, a quarter on the so line. Taylor's got a couple of options. Yeah, you can only see maybe see about that. half of that like stone half. now that's on the forefoot. There's a good look at it. But knowing it. Taylor as we do, she's going to ignore everything and really try and get one fully buried in behind. Oh, now they're having a look and see. Yeah, exactly. No, I think that's oh, good. She can see enough. She figure, figures. For a little tight, we open it up. Yep. What do you like throwing at it? Not big at it. Okay. No. Board. Board. Yeah, I like board. Right there. Okay. 
got it. Taking an 11. You like this uh, this call switch, Melissa? Well, I'm not sure. They they talked about throwing an 11, so I think they're going to try and okay. throw and then roll enough it, that they can actually hit and maybe hold their shooter as shot stone. I, I don't okay. mind this call at all. I think if that other blue stone maybe wasn't in the rings, they would play the straight draw. But there is a chance she can hit and roll here for shot. And like she, like you said, or like she said, if uh, she happens to hit one of the guards, she does open it up. I think this is a good call without hammer here in the third end. 11-5! The big shot here for Taylor Reese Hansen facing two without the hammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would love for this to stick around for shot. Oh, great try. Nice wait. Navigated the port successfully, good. but yeah, just rolled out, unfortunately. So chance again here for Clancy Grandy. Draw around everything. Great weight selection there for Taylor as well. You know, with a great chance to save her shooter, but just didn't hit quite enough of it. So as you say, huge opportunity here for Clancy. And this is one that I really feel that she needs, not only for herself, but her team, just to try and get some momentum going for their team. Right now. Okay, let it work. Just fight for. They're looking for right top now. eight, Hold top line. four, the Let's very, go. very Hold most. Line. Line. You gotta go! Hide line! Hide line! Hide line. Hide Seems like they think it's curling. Lindsay Dubé trying to hold this. And they know it's Gotta get around this center guard. Too. Yeah. Oh boy. And that will come up light. 14 and a half. 14 five? Yeah. Oh, wait, was there. Yeah, so decision time here for Taylor Reese Hansen. Um, I think it's not help. I think it's not help. Yeah, back four, back eight. Back eight, eight. I like that. Yeah. Okay, I'm thinking. Right there. Okay. Yeah, should come out. So I think she's electing to. to right on the nose, here, even Melissa? a sliver high, it should be really good. There's two options, two great, great options here, actually. She can do the straight back tap into the like forefoot, or if it hangs, she could actually maybe split those two yellows to out count that blue one over in the 12 foot, and she could be line one and two after this. So a couple of different good things that could happen with this shot. Back four weight's perfect. Yeah. Nice back four here, you got it. Just like you can. Back four, she won't get a, a ton of of uh, movement on those two rocks, I don't think, John. So I think her initial shot here is the straight forward tap, straight back. back oh, yep, 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 back yep. Back yep, yep. Hard. We saw Clancy Just Grandy saw Clancy throw Grandy. a lot yeah. of this spot. We <laughs> did it again. We're in sync, yep. Hard, yep, yep, yep. yep. Oh, trying yeah, to hold yeah, this, yeah, this looks yeah, like yeah, a lot yeah. of weight. Yep, 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 yep. Right in, right in. Good. Great. Call, and guys. that little yeah. chip, exactly like you called it, Melissa, ended up very nice for her. But I do think it looks, Melissa, like Clancy will have a shot for two here. You throw it. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a short angle run. Pretty nice. Agreed. Yeah. Great end by both teams here, yeah. just trying to go after each other and that uh, first rock of Kayla McMillan's kind of turning the end around a little bit for uh, Team Grandy, but uh, not to let Team Reese Hansen down here. They've made some phenomenal shots and line one. So a bit of a tough shot when you're the last thrower here for Clancy, trying to get this short run Good for peel. two. Yep. Good peel. Yep. Oh! Yep. 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 She have it. She what does. What a shot! Great shot from Clancy Grandy. Great sweep from Lindsay Dubé, nice and we saw Taylor Reese Hansen make a run back in yeah, two, and Clancy like Grandy equal to the task in three. Yeah. 
She'll take a one point lead to the fourth. Taylor Reese Hansen will have the hammer when we come back. You're watching the BC Scotties semi final. Welcome back, curling fans, inside the Chilliwack Curling Club. John Cullen alongside Melissa Saligo here for this women's semifinal between Team Reese Hansen and Team Grandy. And uh, Melissa, just uh, a real feat of shot making in that third end. Uh, some great back and forth action, and Clancy Grandy really making a beauty with her last. Did she ever? What a, what a terrific shot. And, and again, that, that was a really important shot for her. Her last two shots were for her. Just to get some confidence back and to feel really good about throwing. And and if you if you just watch, I was a little concerned, John, at first when she when she called the peel weight. But as you and I sort of talked to on in the break, she was concerned about how much her first draw actually curled. So I think that's why she elected to throw the peel and she made no mistake. What a terrific shot. Yeah, we can see on the replay there, just perfectly made, directly planted it right on the nose. And so it is a 3-2 lead here for Clancy Grandy and end number four, a spot in tomorrow's BC Scotties final on the line. The winner of this game will play Team Corinne Brown. That game will go at 9 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow morning. We'll have that for you on check once again. Can't finish. Uh, and a good shot there from Sarah Loken. Yeah, really nice pair there by Sarah. And again, you can see Taylor. She has two options here, really. She can use the corner guard that Sydney threw, or she can try and freeze, corner freeze to that blue stone from Sarah. And that's what they're going to do. Really high. Nice shot. Lovely shot there Ready, from right. Sydney Brills. Copy. Clancy Grandy lying one. But uh, another another aggressive setup here from both teams. Bigger ad. Oh, that's that's way more than yours. Looks heavy. Oh, if you're heavy. Oh. Yeah, that did look like quite a bit of an ad there by 12, Lindsay. 12. Like, can we feather it? Can go by. Go by. I think you'd almost want to tick it if you're okay. like that, okay. so it stays in the rings. That was a good yeah. call. 13, eight. Okay. Unfortunately, it does push it behind the button, but otherwise, I think that rock was well through the rings, John. Back four. Yeah, it seems like uh, Lindsay Dubé just uh, a little bit off so far. Melissa just hasn't quite uh, hasn't quite dialed in to draw weight. It seems like just from listening to what the teams are saying, there's maybe a bit of a change in the draw weight. Perhaps I, I'm not sure. I, I don't know exactly what it was running yesterday, but just the way that they're talking about it, it seems like the conversation is that uh, it's maybe the sheets playing maybe a little different than it did yesterday. Yeah, I've heard a couple of comments out there for sure, and it's 
You know, it's still running about 15, 15 and a half. I'll wait till this shot comes to, to rest. Trying to get it by. So I do think that the speed is, is likely the same. I, I've heard a couple of words out there like tracking and, and some people, maybe some of the teams feeling that the, our players are feeling that it's tracking a little bit before it makes its break. Um, you have to also think that they are pretty much the only sheet out there. I saw Team Brown practicing on the next sheet. I don't know if they're still there, but also there's the uh, benches right beside the sheet also. So you have lots of people out there bringing in the heat. So sometimes that will affect the ice very slightly and you just have to make your adjustments as, as this game goes on. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Good, good shot. Oh, nice shot one. there. Good yeah, one. nice shot there from Lindsay Dubé. Unfortunately loses her back blue, but gets rid of both yellows. And so I think it'll be a, a double back here for Sierra Fisher. Wrist up, just like you can. You see, like you can. And just a little wide there from Sierra Fisher. Grandy's still lying the one. Touch shot button. Okay. Yeah, I think Sydney might have just been a little, or Sierra, pardon me, might have been a little heavy as well. So unfortunately, could not hold the shooter. From my guards, they were on the logo. Yeah. Yeah. Like high side of the logo. Like on the team. Okay. Great chance here now for Kayla McMillan and Team Grandy to try and get another one in there above the T-line. Would love this to be maybe top four, top button would be better. Let's try and put some pressure on the Reese Hansen team with Hammer. Top eight, top four. Let it work if you can. Top four. Sarah's rock. There it goes. Sarah's rock. Okay, you Saw a guard then. two two ends Copy. ago curl okay, too much, and this one taking his time. Got a curl, got a curl. Uh, whoa, 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 leave it half back here. Okay. I think we just left that too long waiting for it to curl. Okay, 15, Six. six. Could we have gone any earlier? Think we can throw yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, like line was good. Yeah. I just and said switch if you can. A third of it. Yeah. I'm okay, four. Yeah. So you could hear the Grandy team there just talking about the way they managed that stone, Melissa. Seemed like maybe they were wondering if they could perhaps carve it a little bit earlier, I think is what they were talking about. I think so, and and I think they were waiting because Clancy wasn't calling them on yet for that for line just yet. They just kept saying lots of room. But actually, when you look at the way the rocks are lined up right now, you almost whoa, didn't want whoa, to carve it anymore because that would whoa, expose that button that's, or that rock that's in the back button. And I don't think you want to leave that for Taylor Reese Hansen's team. So Megan McGilvery will get rid of it, but unfortunately her shooter will roll out. Grandy still lying the single here without hammer. I think that seems. Do you want to hit her last? Yeah, like a broom last? Yeah. Yeah, I thought I was kind of there on my own. So for Team Grandy, they've got a lot of different systems in play here, and what they try and do is they, they try and throw, because this rock, or sorry, the ice curls so much, they try and throw the weight that is called, or just a slightly less, so that it allows them to work the rock later in the uh, in its path. They don't want to work it right out of its hand. So this one, unfortunately, when you do that, unfortunately, you have this opportunity that it does come too, too deep. Uh... So a little blue wall behind the button, and this is uh, a big opportunity now for Taylor Reese Hansen to potentially get a deuce set up. Yeah, great chance here from Megan. Felt close. Six, seven. Okay, make sure we're running a bit. Running. Line's good. Running. Whoa, Eight. whoa, no, no. Eight. Whoa. Nine. Sierra's rock. Nine. Sierra. Seven. Seven. 
Yeah, you can yeah, hear the numbers those. being called. They're eight, Mine's nine, better, and guys. that is definitely Make, back eight. Make sure you're there. Go for distance. Wait. Go for distance. We're there. We're there. We're whoa, there. Whoa, then. Whoa, we're there. whoa, 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 and pretty good shot there from Megan McGilvery. Maybe a little heavier than they would have wanted. I think it's a, a good result. Unfortunately, it kind of overcurled a bit. So there is room for one more rock right on top of that yellow stone. That would be shot rock. It would be touching the pin. So just have to be very, very careful of the angles here. You, you don't want to put your rock, you want to over curl your rock because if you do, and Taylor can see any of it, she can come down with a peel weight and try and hit as much as she can see and get all the blue ones uh, moving. So very key here to make sure that this rock stays on the broom side of the yellow stone. It's close, I'm going to use back button. First rock here Go for machine. Clancy Grandy. Still running, still running. Wait, it's right there. there. Still heavy. Okay, well done. Been Sarah's lying shot right. for We're really most close. of the end. Okay. Still heavy. Sarah's rock. Still heavy. Back four. No, oh, you're can't on this line. Heavy. Just let it stop. Fully off, fully off. Sit. Okay, that's fine. 14 and a half. And that will okay. unfortunately Sorry, what? 14 and be a half. little too heavy. And so Taylor Reese Hansen sitting one without the hammer and Pretty good opportunity here, Melissa. Great opportunity here. You know, that's a situation for Clancy. She would have liked to have been about two feet lighter on that particular stone. So hey guys, if Taylor can ever here. freeze yeah. one right into that pocket, I'm not sure what Clancy will have to yeah, eliminate the damage. Both of those were 14 five, so 15 should be perfect. Yeah. yeah. Just make sure we're there. That's the most important. Yeah. <laughs> You can hear Taylor letting us know the weight is 15. That's from hog to hog. So it's very, very quick ice and very consistent ice. You can see, John, they just barely push out of the hat because the ice no, is you're there. so you're there, quick. You're there, you're there, you're there. Eight, eight, nine. Oh, so we saw whatever. Taylor was a little oh, bit heavy on her, good. On her good. draw attempt at the whoa, end whoa, of the third whoa. end. Whoa. We'll see if uh, she's on point here. Yep, yep, then, yep, yep, hard, yep. And you're okay if you're a little heavy as long as the line is good because you got lots of things to draw to there, and this looks pretty much perfect. Yeah, very nice spot there from Taylor Reese Hansen. And I guess if you're Grandy here, Melissa, really your best shot here is to try to freeze and limit Taylor to a single. Like heavy exactly. Really That's exactly either. what she's going to do. Now I did hear. For a second, if we're right on it. Okay. <laughs> Just waiting for Clancy there. I did hear yeah. Kayla say yeah, they want to be on the inside of it, yes. but okay. I would be very, very careful how far on the inside you go of that yellow stone. Again, you can see enough of that to throw a peel and, and pick it out. So there's a chance here if you're on the wrong side of this yellow stone that Still that team okay, Reese Hansen could then. get a deuce. Do it. Wait, too then. much line. Wait, it's close. Guys, off. Off then. Wait, it's close. Got a lot of line. Always there is. Running Dubai straight. Dubay and Loken indicating it might be a little Always heavy. It's got to be to it. Yeah. Cannot it's bounce to off it. here. So there. Got to be to it. Okay, go then. Hard finish. Curl it in. Lock it on. Lock it on. Lock it on. Got to be there. Got to be there. Go, go, go. A little more. Little more. Okay, okay. Nice shot. Very nice. From Clancy Grandy. Yeah. 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 Is there a chance for Clancy Taylor Reese Hansen to knock it off of there, off the top? That I don't know. Okay. Good throw. Yeah. Even if yeah, we're just to it, we should be lots of room to get in there. Yeah. I think if she hits that, John, she will lose the yellow one that's in the back button, so she would probably only get one. This is her opportunity to get two here, is this out turn draw. We haven't seen any rocks come down this way, I think, except maybe the very first one of this end. Right, so, so the team's going to have to talk too. about yeah. uh, the potential draw weight out here in the path and, and just ensure that they're all on board. Yeah, for sure. Great um, shot there by Clancy, though. Here, guys. Okay. So, uh, so I think, we I think Max is just already straight from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... Yeah. Like the, the whole sheet seems like almost a little bit slanted mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. so more going Close that the way same here. Way, Good, hair tight. So final stone here for Taylor yep, Reese Hansen needs the line. side of the button for line. two. Line. Yep, yep, yellow line. Really hard, really hard. Oh, oh, hard. Push, 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 push. 
Fisher and Brills trying to get it there. Line is really good. Gotta go. Two. Great, Great shot. shot from Taylor Reese Hansen. Wow. She showed the power back in the second end and shows the touch in the fourth. Two, Phenomenal draw, 4-2, two, two, and these teams continue to go back and forth. It'll be a 4-3 lead for Reese Hansen. Clancy Grandy will have the hammer. When we come back, you're watching Czech TV. I just said, do we, do I? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the fifth end here of the BC Scotties semifinal between Team Clancy Grandy and Team Reese Hansen. Melissa, it has been uh, a fantastic battle so far. These, uh, these two teams just exchanging haymakers early on. Halfway. Two. What a great display of curling. I mean, both teams have come out here to win this game and they're both, both making incredible shots. And we've just seen a, a seesaw game here. Two's on the board uh, for the last couple of ends and, and John, both teams just playing so, so well. Okay, that's good there. Good sweeping, guys. Yeah. Good shot. Okay. Even if you're showing a piece this side. Okay. You said, he's three, he got it. You know, that was such a great shot of, of Taylor's knowing that they played the majority of the end on the one side of the sheet. And when it came time to make her last shot, she had to go to the other three. side that hadn't three. been played on for about, you know, Mine's seven, three. eight, nine, yeah. ten minutes three. Three, and does not make three. any three. mistake three. to get her deuce. Whoa, 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 just let it stop. You're going to really gonna overcurl. Yeah. No, 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 just let it stop. You can't. You're not close. Sit. Sit. Okay, Sid. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. So different tactic here for Reese Hansen. They brought their first one into the rings instead of throwing the center guard, and then tried to guard it on their on their second. And you can see it just over curled. So chance here now for Sarah Loken to try and hit and get in behind those two corner guards. That's good. Eleven five. Okay. Easy. Wait's good. Kayla. Yeah. Kayla, go. Yep, yeah, you're fully cross. Easy, easy. Yep, Kayla. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yep, yep, go big with it. Go right over, right over, right Good. over. And very nice shot there yeah, from Sarah Loken, who continues to have an excellent okay, game. 12 in the end. Okay. Yeah. That's what did it come through us? 12. What's that? That makes sense. Yeah. I thought we were on. Yeah. I like just nine here. Okay. All right. That's one of those rolls, John, that stopped right in the middle instead of going in behind one of the guards so i do believe sierra can see it and they're going to throw a nine and try and come through the port it's a tight port but it is makeable the risk here for sierra is nine, the, you're still in the free whoa, guard zone whoa. here so whoa, curl, can't actually curl. peel these guards hard, off if you really miss hard. it Oh, so she's running her own, and wow, what a shot from oh, Sarah wow. Fisher. Okay. <laughs> Who needs the port when you can make a nine-foot run back? What a shot. So that makes sense. That's probably why they weren't throwing the port, is because if they ever hit the blue one and it goes out of play, the blue one would have been replaced. So 
hitting their own. And uh, wow, what a shot. Let's take another look here from Sierra Fisher. That is stellar shot making. Wait, it's close. Time for another hit and roll here hard. for Team Grandy. Hey, keep going. Hard. A little more. A little more. Go, 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 hard, go. hard, 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 hard. Okay. It's a good throw, Lynn. Yeah. That is the three, so. Yeah. Curled up a bit extra yeah. there. Good throw. Good save. Yeah. That way was close. So right on the nose yeah, for Lindsay. So Sierra like chance here now to hit and roll okay. herself. Yeah. It's just not quite reactive. A lot less rocks in play this end, John. We're not used to it. I know. I don't yeah, even know really what to say anymore. Really got it. Really got it. <laughs> you got to go really I got so hard. used to it for the first four ends. Hard, hard, hard. You got it. You got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep hard. 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 Great brushing there by Sid. <laughs> yeah, very nice. But it will roll out. So Clancy Grandy having an opportunity now to use those corner guards. We may. May end up getting a few more rocks in play here, like Melissa. Sure. Yeah. Okay. All right, like you can. We heard that uh, a little snippet of that conversation between Lindsay Dubé and uh, Kayla and Sarah after her oh, last stone. Well, they think well, maybe her first stone is just a little yep. straighter. Yep. It's been fooling them. So we'll keep an eye on that as the game goes on. Top 12. Yep. Mine's good. Top eight. Almost. Okay, uh, switch if you can, guys. Just Hard top throw. 12. You gotta finish. Hard. Hard finish. Hard. Hard. Trying there. to bring go, this go, one go, back go, as go, far go. as they can. Most importantly, get it buried behind the guard. I can't find the in-between. I'm Shots either heavy or <laughs> Yeah, earlier. Just got on it right away. But, yeah. Lindsay has been struggling a little bit with draw weight, as she yeah. alludes to there. Yeah, you can see there, Melissa, if the uh, line was perfect, it would have been, uh, or sorry, if the weight was perfect, it would have been great line. As we take a look at our supporters here of the BC Scotties, the provincial government of BC, Best Western, Scotties, the city of Chilliwack, Czech. And that will just roll out for Megan McGilvery. I'm gonna give a hair less. Uh, With that rollout, there's a chance now yeah. for Kayla McMillan to no. make an attempt to get around that corner guard. Team Grandy really trying to. They would love to get a deuce here if they can get any get something set up. Top four. Also, want to make sure to mention a couple of the sponsors I missed there. Bel Air Direct, home insurance that fits your lifestyle. Ice King, their uh, world-class ice scraping equipment, blade sharpening and curling rink equipment, Via Sport, CBC Sports.ca, and Tourism Chilliwack. Yeah, it's not crossing there. Let's curl now. Good sweep, guys. Okay. And so they just, Melissa, can't quite find this uh, this draw around these corners here. No, and I, I'm just not sure if, if you know, they, they've been questioning uh, some of the rocks. They've been questioning the ice a little bit. And, uh, you know, they've got the draw weight, as we can see there. But they're getting by the corner guard, John, by two, two feet, two and a half feet. And that's great if it finishes but you need to maybe get it by maybe by a foot so it finishes even harder so just trying to find that happy medium there but uh they might have a little break here with megan mcgillivray unfortunately hitting that corner corner guard yeah we haven't seen megan make too many mistakes today but unfortunately no. that one over curls and really great chance to put another two on the board here for clancy grandy that's kind of it. Yeah. And close okay. on your own, probably. Think even. I think very similar. Yeah. So there's two options here, John. Obviously, you can draw to the open side and just keep your rocks as far apart as possible and try and prevent Reese Hansen from uh, ever 
getting a chance to play a double. You could also go around the corner guards, but I, I kind of agree with what she's throwing here. Things haven't been perfect this end for Team Grandy. They're just off by an inch here, there, and everywhere. So, and if you did come into the wrong place, they could either your opposition could either get a hit and roll or a double, and they would be behind the guard. So I think this is a good call for now. Just try and keep it open here for the last couple of rocks of this end. Now they're trying to go as deep as possible. Just got stuck in between. Okay. Can I just bigger? So there may be a double opportunity here for Taylor Reese Hansen. I thought it would come off a little bit more. If you're seeing that, we're getting curled a lot. Uh. You heard Kayla. They, it was kind of one of those in-betweens as well. They were trying to put it in a place that there wasn't a double. They originally wanted a top eight when they yeah, knew it was a little heavy. They tried to take it back to even back 12, so this double was was a much tougher. But uh, I think they have left a double here for Taylor. Still a good spot, though, for Kayla. The double still has to be made. Make a good one. So we've already seen Taylor Reese Hansen make a few big weight shots. Can she add another one here? Yeah, yeah. Looking for a cross house double. Really hard. Yeah. Really hard. Really. Hard. Sydney Brill's on it right out of her hand. Can yeah, she get enough she of the got clue? it. Oh. Just a little over the top. Great try okay. from Taylor Reese Hansen. So <laughs> great but try Grandy's and great call. One. And you can see Megan, she <sighs> called it right out of Taylor. She must have just pinched the broom a little bit. She called it right away. Fantastic call by Megan. And Sid tried everything to hold this stone. Another inch less and she would have made the double. So again, huge chance here now for Clancy to just throw an open draw, split the rings and try and maintain holding that two points for this end. Yours didn't, your guard went where I thought I thought I was the most through on any of them. We're gonna go around the corner. Okay, yeah. As long as we lose it, we only wanna be top eight. Okay, okay. For this one. Okay. Like fully. It's the same ice as your corner, sir. Yeah. That's really important, John, is, is where you want this rock to stop. The deeper this rock is, the more chance that Taylor has a chance to freeze to it. So great call there by Clancy. Just want to be top 8. Even if you're top 12, it's not horrible. But you just don't want to be too deep. Back 4. Okay. Back 4, back 8. Okay, even's okay. This looks like it's gliding. Yeah, nothing here from Lindsay and Sarah. Back 8. We're even. Almost. No, 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 no. Just no. let it stop, 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 stop. That's good. Okay, okay. that works. That really died. Yeah. Pretty good spot there for That's Clancy Grandy. You're going to be, yeah. I don't think there's a double there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no double, but that's definitely not where she wanted that rock. If if Taylor can make the perfect freeze on this stone, it's going to take away the chance, I think, yeah, for that? Granny to get two. So she would have loved that rock to be yeah. another foot or another rock or even two rocks above yeah. where it is right now. So big shot here for Taylor. You know, this is a chance now that, you know, you, you make a perfect shot and maybe force your opposition, or if you miss the shot, you potentially could give up three. Yeah, we've seen Reese Hansen not afraid to take risks, and this might be her biggest one of the game so far. Needs this to be at least close. Her last rock here in end at number five. Lines closed. Six, seven. Easy, 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 easy. Whoa, whoa. Eight. Whoa. Eight. Whoa. whoa. Seven, no eight. line, no. Where is it? Six, seven. Have a look, Sid. Have a look. Whoa. Whoa. Close. No bounce. No bounce. No bounce. No bounce. No bounce. No bounce. No Need this one to slow down. This is close. Oh, so close. Just that little bit extra from Taylor Reese Hansen. 
And this is a great chance now for Clancy Grandy. You can see there a wide open hit for three. Just let me see it from the half. Oh, maybe it was just my angle. Never mind. You totally yeah, can. Yeah, I feel like there's a decent amount of yeah. error. But... Okay. <laughs> yeah, they were just talking about yeah, which no, turn that she really wanted to throw the right? out yeah. turn here, the straighter oh, okay. turn. Same as and kind of just making sure there was some room yeah. behind the by the guard there. So great opportunity yeah. here for Team Grandy. Final stone here, yeah. end number Team. five. Perfect. The teams have been exchanging twos. Clancy Grandy with a chance for a third. Yep. Hard, 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 it's curling. Hard, hard, And that is just off nose and just on the scoreboard. A big three here in end number five for Clancy Grandy. She's going to take a six to four lead into the break, and we're going to head back to the studio with Jeff, Stacy, and Elaine to break down the first half of this game for you. That has to be the most Canadian thing I've ever seen. Well, maybe if he was also eating a poutine. <laughs> Whoa. Huh? And drinking maple syrup. <laughs> and he's also a, a curler. curler. <laughs> uh, guys, you know I've never actually been curling before. And, and you, you call, call yourself, yourself a Canadian? Canadian? I'm sorry. There's more than a thousand curling facilities in Canada. Be a good Canadian and find one near you today. be a superhero. I want to be a firefighter. I want to graduate university. I don't know what I want to be. I want to be an archaeologist. 
I want to be a scientist. Pilot. Coach. Carpenter. I'm going to be a curling champion. Kids dream big. Your support will help them realize their dreams on and off the ice. Curling. The game with the ice and the rocks and the sweeping and the yelling. Each game starts with a handshake. Then, two teams of four people take turns throwing 44-pound stones down a sheet of ice. Each team throws eight rocks, and the team closest to the center after all the rocks are thrown will score the points. This process is repeated for six to ten rounds until one team is victorious. It's just that simple. Or is it? Take a look. Three. Take a look. Yep, bring it over. Yep, all right, stick. Yep, get it off. Perfect. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Get it off the score line. Okay, good. Keep. Nice throws. Still give it to us. Just hide the logo. Okay. Split center. Hair tighter line. Yeah, Kayla's wrong. Yeah, I think we can go. Still just hide the logo. Okay, Kayla's wrong okay. right now. Just for line. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. There. whoa. Don't want to don't wanna cross the line. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good. Yeah, you said. Okay, might have to wait. Top four is nice here, said. Yeah. You got it. Back four is okay. Nice T-line. No, 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 no. Six. No, no you can't. We're, we're hair deep. You got to curl a mile. Yeah, yeah. yeah you really got to curl. You have to go, yep. see? You hard. really have hard. to go. It's really hard. Hurt, 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 hurt. Bring it really on. Really hard. Hurt, 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 hurt. Keep rolling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right around. Yeah. Top four. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I thought it felt up to speed. Like normal, normal speed. speed. I yeah. don't think any yeah. faster. Not any faster. No. Hello, T curling line. fans, right. and welcome back right inside now. the Idea Chilliwack right Curling Club, Lundy. home of the BC Scotties semifinal no, between no, Team no, Clancy no, Grandy and no, Team Taylor no, Reese no. Hansen. It's been a barn burner for the first half of the game. Team Grandy, once again, playing a high scoring affair. They lead six to four. John Cullen with you once again alongside my partner in crime, Melissa Saligo, multiple time BC Scotties and Canadian Scotties champion. And Melissa, uh, you know, we talked about this off the start of the game that there might be a lot of points on the board in this one. That has happened so far, 10 combined in the first five ends. What did you make of the first half? 
Oh, it's just been such a great back and forth game. You know, each team trying to take chances to get their points. I mean, this shot by Taylor Reese Hansen in the second end, you don't see that very often, but look at the smile and that just shows how confident she is. And not to be un outdone, there's Clancy Grandy doing the exact same thing in get to get her two points. And here we go, two and two. This is the first three that's broken in the fifth end. I'm sure they had both teams had a great fifth end break, and we'll see what the next five bring. Yeah, we saw last night in the 1-2 game against Corinne Brown, Clancy Grandy popping a big end in the fifth in that one as well, scoring four, and then Corinne Brown rebounded with six <laughs> in the sixth end, although Sarah it looks, Golden. Melissa, like uh, the setup this end uh, a little more favorable for Fire, Team Grandy. They're lying there. two okay. without the hammer here, and Lindsay Dubé throwing a guard. Over and off. I would say it is a little more favorable than what we saw last night. I, I wasn't going to bring up last night's uh, sixth end, that's for sure. Um, you know, Grandy definitely wants to forget about that. So they're playing a little bit different. Uh, straightforward end, first one in, corner guard goes up. And we saw just as we were coming live there that um, that blue guard that was there, it was ticked in the first five, five rocks of the end, so it had to be replaced. And so... There was just a bit of a miss shot there early. I I, I think it was Sid's second stone that did that. So uh, now a chance though that you can peel because we're well into the set. And unfortunately, Sierra Fisher will blow that by everything. So Grandy still lying the two. And yeah, as you said, Melissa, this event being played with the no tick rules that are now uh, a part of the Canadian and world game. And yeah. it's been uh, a bit of an adjustment for the teams. And I think, Melissa, on one one good thing that's uh, come out of better, that is yeah. the the extra ends. There's a, 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 a lot better of a chance to steal. And we've actually seen that with Taylor Reese Hansen uh, stealing her last two victories in the extra end. So it, it's definitely made the game a, a little bit more exciting to watch. And, and even in this, this sixth end, you know, helping out Team Grandy here uh, be on the offense. Yeah, very much so. It is a, an interesting yeah, rule and a very fun it. rule, and I think the teams are more or less enjoying it. Obviously, if you have Hammer and the Extra, maybe not so much. But, uh, you know, it makes it much more interesting, and, and you know, the teams are just getting better and better every year, and, and uh, the game just keeps trying to think of different things to make it a little bit more challenging. So we want to look back at that shot. In, in the fifth end, Sierra Fisher made an incredible run. Um, and unfortunately on this last one here, she just misses it. And, and what the worst part about that shot is the fact that the guard rolled over to the forefoot area. So it's it's kind of in the way of the draw path now to the button if Taylor would need it um, towards the end of this end. So just something to keep, uh, keep in mind as this end progresses. So Kayla McMillan's guard over curling just slightly, giving Megan McGillivray an opportunity here to get at the rocks in the house. Got to get through this port, though. Sydney Brill's trying to hold it. Oh, boy. And it will just tick that top blue stone. And so Clancy Grandy continuing to lie the two. And as you said, Melissa, now those draw paths are starting to get real complicated if you're Taylor. They really are, and, and Taylor's going to have to keep an eye on that. She only yeah, has yeah, three rocks really. left. And, you know, I just want to point out, it's very interesting in, in the even end, so the end that we're in right now, uh, if we look back, I believe it was the fourth end, there was a couple of guards being thrown by Team Grandy, and they under, or sorry, over curled, pardon me. And in the odd end, when we, they were trying to draw around the corner, we didn't see quite the same. We actually saw some under curl. So something to be aware of. I'm sure they talked about it in the fifth end, and, and maybe it's just a matter of putting the broom in a slightly different spot, or um, because I think the team is throwing pretty much the way that they usually do. They're very consistent in their throws. So just something to be aware of. Oh, that might have been my coaching hat on for a minute. It's okay. You're allowed to. You're allowed to put it on from <laughs> time you. to time. It's a nice hat. <laughs> so this looks like uh, an arrow pointing at the hack right now, and uh, the arrow is very favorable for Clancy Grandy. Nice shot there from Kayla McMillan. Like how how big is the hole? Not very big. <laughs> 
Just having a look there, John, they, they're wondering if there's a port between the guard that was just thrown and the yellow stone, and it, it looks like it could be there, but it's very, very tight. I don't think he'd roll out. I can't see much. What's that? I can't see much. Yeah. You have to skinny the yellow here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, we can play this. We can try it, and then we might clear it up, but it's whatever you're seeing. Yeah, try it and I guess play it tight to the yellow. Yeah. Or sorry, the blue. Yeah. What do you like for weight? I'm seeing 11. Do you like 11 here? Here. So it looks like they are going to try it, Melissa. <laughs> they are going to try it. I'm, I'm a little surprised that they might not throw a little more weight at it just because it's such a tight port. You can't afford to have it curl one way or the other. But I think they also want to throw this weight because M Megan has mentioned that you cannot see very much of this stone. So if you ever get through there and you're throwing whoa, an 11, you can hang on to your shooter, please. which is extremely whoa, important. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So tough shot here please. for Megan. Whoa, whoa. 10 5. Curl, curl, hard, hard. Good. Find that hole just oh, not so quite. Close. Okay, I know. <laughs> really, really close. For Megan McGillivray, nice throw, nice weight, but just doesn't quite get through the port. It's a good throw, Megan. <laughs> we'll take another one of the peek things at this, they just how close it gets to it. Sorry, Melissa. Yeah, I no, that's okay, John. And one of the things the they corner. talked about was potentially getting rid of the blue one rather than that yellow one. So not the guard they wanted to tick, unfortunately, either. So maybe, uh, but it does, you know, it does open up the space there. So they're going to have to place this guard in a really good position. Yeah, I think um, from here, middle looks. Yeah, this is a good look here, Melissa, at exactly what you were talking about before. Now, especially with that, that little tip that Megan got off of that yellow. I mean, the draw path is almost non-existent like here for four? Taylor Reese Yeah, Hansen. like we could tap it like a foot maybe is ideal. I would agree, okay. and, and really the, right yeah, now, if you look at it again, there's yeah. I think there's only one angle raise, and that's that top yeah. yellow one on the left-hand side. I don't think you can even do anything with that yellow stone on the, the second yellow stone on the left either. So really tough position right now for Team Reese Hansen, and Clancy Grandy is, I, I don't know if she called it right in or if she just called the guard. John, I was talking. <laughs> Uh, the guard, yeah. Line. Oh, down. Side line. Heavy, back four. Side line. Back 12. Nope, back they're coming in. They're coming in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back Heavy, curl. Whoa. whoa, then. Curl. 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 Good. And nice shot there from Clancy yeah. Grandy, and good. she's lying three without the hammer here in end number six. Yeah. Yeah. It's basically, no. I just yeah, think to open it up a bit for ourselves. Nice Ten. And if it's ever not curling, we can cross it too, right? Definitely. Like Throw the other way. No, ten. Just ten, yeah. I'd like to stick the shooter. Oh, I have even more than I thought. Yeah, ten's perfect. Looks like they're just eyeing up the double here, Melissa. Three quarters of I think so. That's ideally the shot number one. You heard Taylor say that if it no, did over curl, that they would play the role okay, yeah. under. The only question I had about that shot from Clancy Grandy is if Taylor could ever make the double, does the yellow shooter that she's about to throw, does it outcount the one at the back? And if it does, then it may have been better to throw a guard up. So we'll just have to see what happens here and if that rock actually outcomes the other one, if she makes the double. I mean, the double's Ten. no Ten. gimme, that's for sure. Close, Ten. close, whoa, 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 whoa. Sid, Sid, hard curl. Hard, Sid, hard. Really hard. Hard, 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 hard. Roll it, roll it, Sid, roll it. Keep. Oh. And Ten. just maybe a little unlucky there was Taylor Reese Hansen not to get one of the two doubles. We're one in. Uh. I agree. I think best spot to be is like right here. Okay. Right? Yeah. That was like back eight, back twelve. So we'll just make it as long as we're yeah. buried. Yeah. So there's a good look at the stats. Here, she doesn't have any. Looks like yeah, Megan so. and herself just struggling also, a bit, John. But yeah, right? I don't know if it's no. too doesn't bad. feel like Can that. Yeah, I think she just made a few really nice great shots, there, yeah. and obviously the number that sticks out there, Clancy Grandy at 97%. Very impressive for a skip through five ends, but Taylor Reese Hansen not too far behind at 85, so 
certainly impressive numbers from both teams and what we expected, Melissa, coming into this. They've been uh, two of the best teams in the field all week, no question about it. Make I it good. Four, yeah. Yeah. I agree, and, yeah, and make, we're seeing exactly sure that this game. Bottom, everything on the line here to get through. to the BC okay. Final so 2023. Yeah. So a chance now for Clancy Grandy to keep that high percentage up and really put some big. pressure on Taylor Reese Hansen here. Close. Don't want to be heavy. Oh, felt close, Eli. guys. Okay, all you. Lions great. Already lying two and looking to twist the knife Wait, here. All you. Bite the button. Lions, Lions good. Lions good. All Doesn't you. Doesn't need to button. curl. No, we need to bite three. top button. Always Sarah's. No, need to bite top button yep. on this Just line. Yep, 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 yep. Hard, 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 hard. Go, 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 go. Shoot, sorry. That's all right. And great throw there from Clancy Grandy. Yeah, nice throw. Lying two, maybe three. And this is going to be a, a tricky shot here for Taylor, I think, Melissa. Well, we just saw What's how that? much. Are they third? Uh, I don't know. It's pretty close. I thought it was us, but. We just saw how much Clancy's rock here, just guys. curled. Yep. So you have to just skinny I that blue rock that's just outside the rings on the right hand side there, there. and hope that it doesn't curl too much once it gets past that stone and get a piece of the button. This is a very, very <laughs> difficult shot because you're basically throwing that's with what, the curl and they're it they're curls doing. a lot towards that it's center line. It it's really yeah. tough. Yeah, that was my thought. That's exactly why I thought it was tricky as well. Just uh, I think it's like really, really, yeah, really tough it. to get there. Yeah, I've already thrown it. It's just a sliver high. Are you looking at maybe throwing the run there. double here, Melissa? Uh, not so much so. here. No, no, just draw. I was gonna yeah, say, I, I don't think it's once there. Once we saw that angle, I was like, <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't know, I'm not sure. Uh, no, I don't think it's there. <laughs> so again, for Clancy, there, she she puts that rock maybe a, a foot higher or something. It it's gonna even make it more difficult for Taylor to try this draw. But she sounds like she's drawing against two. It sounds like that Yellowstone might be we third be shot. Close to the blue one on the outside when we're coming into the house. Okay. But this is an extremely difficult video. difficult yeah. shot you know, just because that port is so it. tight. So Taylor Reese Hansen facing two, potentially three blue counters and needs to find a piece of the button he, he gotta go. to stop he got this good. game Six. from breaking Six. wide open. Running a bit, running, Whoa. running, running, Whoa. running, Whoa. running, Whoa. running. Whoa! Whoa! Sid! Yep, yep, go! Yep, yep! Yeah, but Fisher and Brills trying to get this there. Line is close. Do they have enough weight? Go, 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 go. Oh, wow. Good try. Great try. Just a little bit light there from Taylor Reese Hansen. It will curl onto the top. And so it's a big steal of two for Clancy Grandy. She will take an eight to four lead into the seventh end as you get a look at beautiful Chilliwack, British Columbia. We'll be back right after this. Melissa Saligo, just, uh, just a real turnaround here. The opening 
far four ends of the game. We yeah, saw these yeah, two teams yeah, 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 yeah. exchanging blows, but uh, the last few really ends, it's been all grandy. They've scored five, five okay. unanswered guys? points now to lead eight four. And I want to talk to you a little bit about that last shot there in six for Taylor Reese Hansen. Just looking at where that rock ended up and and the line it took coming in. You know, you and I talked about this in the break. Are, are we even sure that it was there for Taylor Reese Hansen? I'm just not sure it was, John. And I don't. And I, when I say that, I don't think it was there with draw weight. I think maybe you almost had to throw. You almost had to throw like a back button weight, um, even maybe a little bit more than that, so that if it came in, you could tick it and try and spin it towards the button. And We'll take a look at it, and and you can see that they actually had to wait as for as long as they can to get by this blue guard just coming onto screen now. But as soon as it made its bray, you can see it, it gets by that by a foot. So with a little extra weight, she may have had a chance just to sort of tick and spin and hopefully roll to the button. Yeah, I think sometimes too, Melissa, when you have a port like that that it looks big but it it's not based on how much it curls throwing a little more weight actually can help you shape the shot too because you are taking a little bit of curl out of the rock exactly that's a great point so a really good try there but such a tough shot for taylor reese hansen and hansen and unfortunately does give up that steal of two good day have fun so Clancy Grandy up four, but keeping the pressure on here. Sarah Loken coming into the house and then putting a perfect center guard on top of it. And we'll see if Sydney Brills can get one behind this corner. As we said, the winner of this game moves on to tomorrow's BC Scotties final. Corinne Brown already there, awaiting the winner of this game. That'll be at 9 a.m. local time right here on Czech TV. Five. Yeah, always Sierra. Yep, you Six. Go yeah. yeah, hard Brown, a two-time BC hard, champion, hard, although hard, one of those hard, BC hard, titles was a, a granted title due to COVID. So, in theory, a one-time champion or a one-time finals winner. And Clancy Grandy, her entire team, never been to the Scotties before, so it'll be... A potential exciting matchup if Grandy can close this one out, but we'll see if Taylor Reese Hansen has something to say about it here in the last four ends. So it looks like four perfect shots to start this seventh end. Both leads are play playing extremely well. Halfway tight. Okay, that's good. To the logo. Uh, okay, well yeah, we uh, we sung the praises of Sarah Loken last night on stream. She played fantastic against Corinne Brown in that 1-2 game. And Sydney Brills, who I, I haven't seen too much before, has, uh, has been her equal today. She's been absolutely fantastic as well. And as you know, Melissa, in the modern game with this five guard, or sorry, five rock free guard zone, you uh, you really have to have a top lead or you're... You're not going to go yeah. too far in this in this curling life. That's exactly right, John. But that's such a good yeah. point. And yeah, I mean, you speak from line. experience, do you not? Like oh, are you saying that I'm a top lead? <laughs> you got, nice you, in you your day. Up just like you can. <laughs> <laughs> when was my day? You make it sound like I'm I dying over here. I'm only 37, <laughs> Melissa. Jeez, wow. Where to way to bury me here? <laughs> Hair more than board. Whoa. 11, five. What a game, John. No, right. What a you're game. Right. Wow, no, you're right. You're right. <laughs> really I deserve it. I'm not, I'm not very good really anymore. Hard. It's true. Really hard for a piece. Really hard. Hard's it. Really hard. Really trying to get this one over to try and get rid of that blue guard okay. there. Cute. Uh. We're going so here they do move now? the guard into the house, we're but it's still Grandy one. lying yeah, the shot stone. Yeah, we're one. There's just a lot of air. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know if we try and just kind of tuck a piece. Okay. Do we and ever... then they have to roll this way. Do we ever peel? Peel that one? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we so could. If they make a play on that, then we can double the yellow? Yeah, we could. You should end up having enough of this one yeah. to make the double. Or the draw. I'm the good with either. Too, yeah. I don't mind either. 
Do you want to come talk about it for a sec? Scoreboard tells okay. us we should peel. Yeah. <laughs> Time out. Because if we go around, they're trying to tap, we're stuck drawing. Yeah, there's just like not a lot of room. Well, I guess there is room to be like tucked and shot. Yeah. Uh, it's close. I should have swept this one over a bit more. Well, when we like, if we make the peel, mm -hmm. we should well, end up having what we need at least to make a hidden roll. Yeah, yeah. So I don't mind it. I should have swept this one over. <laughs> <laughs> I just think based on the scoreboard, there's quite a bit of air. Right? There is. Yeah, there like is. They have, yeah. like they have enough much, to roll for sure. That's yeah. why. So that's yeah. the thing is, I just don't know if there's quite somewhere you can put it that's good enough. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was thinking. Like it's you can't really be second and okay. not give a double. So play the peel with the out turn to rip yeah, it. I think, I think so. so. Do you like peeling the corner? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll still have our off. center guard if we need it. So. Yeah. How are we? Well, we saw that last night, Melissa. Katie Witt, the master of the the master of the quick timeout. <laughs> they just ask her, "Do you like ripping the corner guard?" She says, "Yep. All right. Oh, See you awesome. later." I think they, like, started the wrong get, yeah, she's just getting her steps in and yeah, came. Yeah, as you say, came down with one word <laughs> response. And uh, you know, I I think that they probably talked about there? last night, yeah, and they talked about the fact that if they would have ripped that corner earlier in that sixth end. It may not have had the same result, so everybody is on board this time to uh, get rid of this corner guard, and I think this is a good call. I can see Clancy's point. They they really wanted to draw, but because there's so much space between the one in the house and the one that's just the, the guard that's out front, there's not really a great place you can put it without trying without giving your opposition a double. Yep. Clean. 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 You're good. So they nice do shot. make the peel, and as you said, Arthur Melissa, wins. exactly the same scenario as last night. They were up four against Corinne Brown and then gave up six, and we both wondered on the broadcast why they maybe didn't peel the corner guard earlier. So could have been a, could have been a quick study, could have been something to, they discussed last night, or, or just, as you said, exactly that uh, there wasn't maybe a great spot to put that draw. But in any case, the guard, or sorry, the peel made from Lindsay Dubé, and now we'll see what Taylor Reese Hansen decides to try and generate some offense here. I guess, Melissa, if you're Taylor, you, you pretty much need to score two here to get yourself back into the game. I think so, John. I, they're going to try and pull out all the stops here to get their deuce. All there right now? Okay, well, for line two. Four, Four. Four. Sid, you gotta curl it a lot. I, I can't. You have to to get off of this rock. Six. You really uh, have four. to. Really gotta try. Really gotta try. Keep going, buddy. Sit. Okay. 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 That was a second. Six. <laughs> Roll in. Do you like that? Okay, buddy. Yeah. If you think it's tricky, we could just rip it this way. Yeah, yeah we can and, make that. And just stick this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Always playing that just throw a 10. 10? I like that. Should come up a hair, I would think. Yeah, I'm just going to give you a bit of ice for that. Okay. Like half rock? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Ten. Yep. Yep. Really hard. hard. Ten. Hard, Lynn. Yep. You gotta go. Hard, hard. Keep it out there. Yeah. Hard. Ten. Hard. Hard. <laughs> yep. Hard. Yeah. Hard. Okay. That's good. So unfortunately, that guard miss from Sierra Fisher allows Kayla good McMillan sweet. to get rid of that yellow yeah. stone. Yeah. And so it is now Clancy Grandy laying a pair here without the hammer and a four-point lead. So ten and a half, maybe. Uh, ten and a half, maybe. Yeah, Sierra really tried to, you know, for the, whatever reason, that guard just hung on that center line forever, and it just ticked and and uh, gave Kayla that straightforward little punch. And as you say, line two. Some out, guards out front here, though, so Megan Eight. has a chance. Eight, nine, clean. Well, well then. Eight. Try to get one Seven. fully buried behind yep. there. Yep. Coming down. Yep. yep. Hard. Line's good. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Clean. 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 Yep. Yep. Yep! Eight. Hard. hard! Hard, come on. Really hard, guys, really hard. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Okay, so. A nice shot there from Megan McGillivray. Great judge, guys. Nice throw, Meg. Yeah. What time, T? You? you don't have much, eh? Hey? Just a I slipper. 14-7. Okay. Sorry? Uh, like none. Yeah, okay. Just straight forward uh, that blue. Don't know if we need to come right to it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Just pass the logo? Yeah. Like tuck a piece, I guess? Uh, is that We're just too far over, though. Yeah. Because I think we want to guard the blue, right? right? Yeah. yeah, make sure we're guarding all of the blue and then all some. Of, yeah, all of the blue. Okay. This is a more ice than I had. Yeah, mine took a while to come. Yeah, over. we want to be to that pretty much the same line as yours. Yeah. I like the thought process for this one, John. They were thinking about trying to make a play on that yellow stone, and it looks like you can only see maybe maybe an inch. So this is a great call. Right now, there's really no play for Taylor Reese Hansen on their own Yellowstone at the Halfway moment, especially high. if okay. Kayla can make a Keep great a guard here. Sarah. Trying to protect both uh, the easy. tap from the yellow as well as shot rock. Fine, fine. Line will be fine. Halfway high to the yellow. Okay. Whoa, 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 Good. Yeah, like you said, Melissa, sometimes when you're up four, you you know, you do think we okay, we gotta peel, we gotta hit. But sometimes the best defense is a good offense. I know that's a cliche, but a cliche for a reason here is uh you know, that guard does uh, certainly put some pressure on Reese Hansen here. Definitely. I mean, that's a perfect guard, and that's a, a, a good thing to say, right? Cliche or not, that's exactly true. Is there was nothing really there to peel, and you don't want to take a chance and you know, peel one of those guards because they're actually helping both teams at the moment. So, good chance here though for Megan. There's still a chance they can get their deuce, but she really needs to bury this one behind those two center guards and get into the forward area. Fire! Fire! Keep going hard, 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 far as you can. Whoa! These girls have been sweeping hard today. I'll say. No. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, great sweep there from Sid and Sierra, nice. but just can't quite get that yellow stone there. And now, Melissa, a really great chance for Clancy Grandy to potentially put something close oh, yeah. to a finishing touch on this game. Yeah. 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 So we get a look here that just misses the guard, but unfortunately, not enough weight. I think a nice positive throw and it'll stay out there. Yeah. yeah. But I don't think, yeah. Don't think we need extra. I might just have to manage it a little better earlier. Yeah. I think ideal is touching a bit of the white top okay. button. Okay. On the button. Huh? Yeah, on the button. Yeah. Yeah. I think you can just kind of be broomed down so if I'm John, close, yeah. just yeah. to kind of... When we look at the, the way the house is situated at the moment, no, you know that Clancy Grandy is fully buried, and that rock really isn't going anywhere at the moment. So, But when you look at where she's going to put this rock right now, as soon as we get a chance to have a look at the rings here, she's talking about putting it uh, top button, which is a fabulous shot. But my other side of me says... Back. Randy doesn't need uh, any more Sarah, points right now. Me, so Sarah, if you put this rock go, short right, anywhere in that oh, draw path, oh, what oh, does Team Reese Hansen have? Yeah, probably not a lot. I can understand her maybe wanting to just really put some pressure on uh, on Reese Hansen, but yeah, you're right. I mean, she almost got maybe a little lucky that it went a little further and didn't leave uh, Taylor with a freeze. Can even be back here play that now? I would agree. I, I, I think I think you're right. And, yeah, and like uh, I mean, I'm now looking at the overhead here. Maybe there was a, a thin double on the two blues, the and that's why she yeah. did want to put one in the top four nice area. Uh, really but like, mm -hmm. right now, you're in yeah. such control well, of this game. Close. And yeah, you're sitting shot around. rock. You yeah. want your opposition to have to make those difficult shots. So, you know, throw an easy one, throw a guard, block the path, and just see what she does. It would have been the right way if we got there. Right what do you play at? Yeah. Just the lemon. Okay. Okay. Is that enough to move things? I think so. Because you just have to move this here. Yeah. Yeah, right okay. there. 
11 trying so to So I guess Melissa here this here. this call from Taylor is just to prevent uh, or sorry to try and give herself an opportunity to score two. Like even no hair high side nose is really good. I think so. I, I think she's trying to, to pull out all the stops here right now. So she's going to go blue onto yellow onto yellow onto blue. Yeah, nice 11 here too. You got it. Just like you can. Again, they're throwing that nice 11 weight. She's got three rocks to move. I guess maybe four if you talk talk about the one in the rings as well. 11. So. Yep, 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 yep. 11, yep. five, five, five. Yes. Awesome, man. Five, 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 five. Got to the center real quick, John. Five, 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 five. Yeah, I'll say. Mira Fisher trying to hold it, but just okay. maybe not quite Eight enough minutes. weight there. And it continues to be Grandy lying the single. Okay, good save, bud. What was the time, Meg? 12-5. Yeah, it's off. 12-5? Oh my god. <laughs> Just tear <laughs> <it> down. <laughs> okay, here we go. I was like, what? Guard, like on the E? Or is this the best to take it away, though? Yeah, I like that. That's maybe better, eh? Okay, I like and it. And makes the, the draw guard. harder. Yeah. Yep. Full like 12. Okay, bite Sun Island. Yeah, probably same ice. I think the same ice. Like, we got to the right line. I think same positive throw. Yeah, I think it'll get there. I think higher. full 12 is best to take the runner away and okay. make the draw hard. Sounds yeah. good. Um, Just need to tuck a piece then? Yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. Just tuck a bit around that top one. It's the same ice as my last one, so I'll just adjust the kick, but throw it same positive, yep. yeah. So Clancy looking to put this top 12 just just slightly behind those two center guards so that Taylor doesn't have the run again on those two stones. Now that they're wide open, she has a straightforward run. Not an easy shot, mind you. So Clancy's just trying to do what she can to prevent that from happening and also trying to prevent her from having a, a pretty clear draw path as well. The tolerance on this rock is definitely on the lighter side, however. Finish! All you. Finish, finish. Finish a bit. Finish a bit. Yep, 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 yep. That's good, that's good. Good judge, guys. 16-1 there. Yeah, it's wow. a yeah. pretty good spot for good that throw. one, I good, think. Good sweep. Yeah, great throw. It is. Yeah. That long yellow. Just Little. leaves Taylor with a draw yeah, for one take. to the side yeah, button, and this is here. no easy path either. Cute. Right there. Lots of rocks in play there, and as you say, John, not an easy draw path. A little easier probably than easier? the last Just one she had to throw. Again. But again, once it gets past that top yellow corner guard on the far right, yeah. it's going to start That'll curling a lot. Yeah, we'll have a bit more weight though. Yeah. I don't even know if I can pick it though, that's the thing. To fall, whatever you, whatever you see. I just don't know if the straw is there. The only thing other thing is a long top. Yeah. But. Let's try it. I'll go. Be nice enough to it. Gotta get tight to that yellow and then just go same way you threw coming. Yeah. Okay. That I like looks it. really good. You got it. So final stone here for Taylor Reese Hansen in the seventh end. Down four needs the side of the Sounds button good. for a single. You gotta go. Five. Whoa, whoa, easy, whoa, easy, whoa, easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're still on the guard. Seven. Close. Sierra. Close. close. No, no. Close. Sid. Close. Yep. Sid. Yep. Sid. Seven, eight. Whoa. 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 Eight. Whoa. 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 Okay. Tried for oh. a little jiggle jiggle Tried there the tick, into tick, the, tick, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, into oh, the middle so area, but close. not quite there for Taylor Reese Hansen. So it will be another point for Grandy and a nine to four lead. We'll see if Taylor Reese Hansen can find her way back into this. When we come back, you're watching the BC Scotties semifinal.
It's good. A little light. Yeah, I thought you could go. You can go. Mine's good. Top 12, top eight. Okay, you can go. Keep it this way. Drag it. Gotta go. All right, guys. Hey. Inside. I'll come in. Go, go, go. Totally in, totally Hello, in. curling fans, and welcome back to continuing coverage of the BC Scotties semifinal here on Check and Curl BC TV. John Cullen alongside it's Melissa Saligo. And uh, Melissa, it has really been the Clancy Grandy show in the second half of this game. They're really getting their ends set up well, and it's paying off on the scoreboard. I fully agree, John. I, you know, it starts off right at the lead. Sarah Loken is setting up every single end absolutely perfectly. She is really doing such a great job for her team and really putting a lot of pressure early on their opponent's team, Reese Hansen. Okay, I think you're good there. You're good. There. Good, 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 Sid. Nice throw. Real good, Sid. Yeah, absolutely, Melissa. It's been uh, a great show from the yes, lead so far. And uh, and uh, Sarah Loken in particular yeah, has, been, uh, has been fantastic. It certainly makes it much easier when you're, uh, when you're getting every end set up well and something I certainly oh, tried to do oh, over the course of my eight. career. A light. Okay, you can so be this rock. Line's good. And it's not, you know, it really hasn't been a lot of missed shots, John, you know, but when it gets down to Taylor's shots, she's had some very, very difficult shots. Megan's been struggling a little bit, making, you know, more of the half shots, but it's, you know, when it comes down to Taylor, it, it's just been, you know, she's she's got some very, very high or, or high degree of difficulty shots to make, so it's been tough. But Grandy has not taken their foot off the gas pedal. They are continuing to push as much as they can. We're a little hot. Yeah. Four, five. Four, five. Six. Can you tap and roll. Okay, coming down. No, oh, coming down. That's good. Always Megan. Five. Always Megan. Five. Six. You're way out there. Okay, come down. You're way out there. Seven. Like you're still on center line. Five. So trying to come around the corner yeah, guard here okay, is Sydney Brill. Yep, yep. Okay. Fifteen, wait, was great. Nice leg. Do we need to stay? I uh, know. We like the thinner the better. Okay. I just don't want to clip yeah. it, so. Okay. Do you like peel? Well, if you want to stick around, I think we need a little less. Well, no, I was thinking try to take it thin under. Yeah, I think we just throw peel then. Okay. okay. Let me just. Okay. Yeah. Like if, we, if that's the goal is to just peel it out, I think we throw peel. Yeah, peel. Take your time like you can. Easy peel. Yeah. Yep. So Lindsay yep. Dubay going to peel yep. here. You got to go. I like that comment by Lindsay. Hard if you're going to peel it out anyways, why don't we throw a peel? There's no uh, yep, point yep, in throwing, yep, yep, yep. Get it under. you know, a gentle, okay. soft, a soft way. Just throw the peel. But great shot there by Lindsay. Really good. Good lens. Yeah, ended up Sweet. with a perfect roll right onto the button. And so now it uh, could be another offense is the best defense here and for uh, Clancy Grandy yep. as those two blue stones are in a perfect position. Wrist up just like you can. You, know, you look back at the first part of this game and it was a back and forth kind of game and and since the fifth end really team grandy has not given Eight. anything uh, uh, any opening Eight. whatsoever Eight. to team Reese yeah. hansen it's, it's they're pretty much Where? putting their rocks Finally, in perfect yeah. positions Eight. and yep. as Eight, i said nine. earlier you know putting the uh, foot Eight. on the gas pedal whoa, 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 whoa. so it's it's whoa. really forcing team through. Reese hansen yep. to be perfect yep. with yep. every single yep. shot and and they're just missing it like that last shot just missed it by like half an inch you know, half an inch more buried that she doesn't have that hit and roll. So, again, we call, you know, this is our game of inches here. So, Reese Hansen still trying to get things going. I'd love to get a, at least two back here in this eighth end. Yeah, I think we're at the point here, Melissa. You pretty much have to get two if you're Reese Hansen. Mm -hmm. And uh, Grandy has not made it easy. We saw the stats after five. Clancy herself curling 97%, the yeah, team at yeah, 89. Yeah, yeah. And I would say, whoa, if anything, whoa, those numbers have gotten whoa. stronger over the last two whoa, ends. They've been whoa, whoa, really, really strong in this good, second good. half of the game. Good call. Good 
Good starting Palin. to show why they're the number 13 ranked team in the world, that's for sure. And a reminder, we'll be back with you again tonight. Oh, sorry, I'll let Taylor and Sierra talk here. That might be better, actually. I think we got to start jiggling something. Yeah. What's that? I think we got to start jiggling something there. Yeah. Like right on the nose? Yeah, right on the nose. What were you saying? Back eight? Okay. Yeah. All right. Nice back eight here. See, you got it. Like pretty much what I just threw. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 14-7. Yeah. Rest up, you got it. So as I was saying, just a reminder that tonight we will have the BC men's semifinal for you. And it is a rematch of last year's BC men's semifinal between the two veterans, Brent Pierce and Jim Backy. Cotter. We'll have that for you at 7 p.m. Pacific time. The winner of that game will move on to face Team Jacques Gauthier in tomorrow's final. Looking forward to that. Coming down. Hard curl. Nine. Really hard. Weight is good here, John. They're just trying to get it to curl. Okay. And okay. unfortunately, with that extra weight, it ran very, very straight. Yeah, well, that's the spot that we, uh, we've we seen a few rocks run straight there. Right. And, and we know on this like, ice, too, it's just feel? if you're any any Go little bit heavy, it can, it can really run on you. And we see that there from Sierra, just an unfortunate miss. And now Kayla McMillan can get rid of this yellow counter in the house. And... Looks like it's going to be an uphill battle for Reese Hansen to get two here, Melissa, or to even score with how good that setup is in the middle for Grandy. Exactly. It, it, it's a tough, a tough hill to climb here, I think, for Reese Hansen in this end. Again, I think I think Grandy's almost getting better and better each end here and not making any mistakes. Good Carolyn. Thank you. Little bump would be great. Back four. Two. Nice back four here. You got it. Yeah, that was pretty good. Bit wide on it. Ten. Oh, cool then. Back tall. Oh. Megan oh, trying yeah, to throw back no four line. weight here. It oh. sounds like it's a little heavy. It's trying. No, you have no line. Yeah, we're still hack. And I think it's just more weight okay. than sure. Taylor was calling. Tough one, Meg. Now, if you're Grandy, what do you do? <laughs> In all honesty, I, I would I consider throwing it through. Cap it. I think so. Yeah. yeah. I think we're probably I, I'm not sure. I think we saw this in a game yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, but there's you yeah, don't need any other rocks to play. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, if anything, they have a sliver on this side, but like yeah. barely. Are you good playing the out? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Feels the same as, yeah. I mean, I don't think you can hurt yourself okay. by throwing the draw, John, and, so and the half come around, but yeah. Yeah. I don't think you want to bury it either, because yeah, in case for any reason you're going to need that shot. But um, my coaching hat on again, I, I would just say, you know, what, what does it mean if you throw it through? They still have to get rid of those two rocks that are behind that guard. And you have a five-point lead. Okay. I think Sarah's they're trying to throw right a guard, actually. I don't think yeah, they're coming halfway. in the house. Oh, are here. they? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Higher than that. But I, I think the, the principle fine. still stands. Like, go? I think if you no, if you no, make this guard perfectly, it's great. But if you're a little bit off finish. center, then maybe it's it gives close. Reese Hansen finish. an opportunity to no, draw to around it. Although those two rocks are covering the button, so it's a pretty good situation here for Grandy. That's for sure. Nice wait. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not sure how Taylor's going to score at this point. And that is a great shot by Kayla, absolutely. Can I run it back in here? Three quarters is really close. Peel. All right, Meg, nice peel here. Can I have a little less? Yep. Thanks. Crisp and consistent, just like you can. That is really unfortunate okay. for Megan McGilvery. It is. Leave that yellow up there. That's uh, that's tough. Just 
discard it. Kay. Same, like we want to touch center line, but be on Lindsay's side. Yeah. Higher than the yellow? Um, a little deeper than the yellow. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Like around it. Yeah, like a little piece tucked around Kay. is perfect. Okay. Kind of She's the same higher here. than the logo. Okay. Just touch center, touch center line. So another guard here for Clancy Grandy. And you heard them say they just want to touch the center line. Just continuing to make Taylor Reese Hans's life difficult here in this eighth end. No, 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 we. No, we've got a lot of lines. Okay, we're like you good with that one. Okay, go, Lindsay. You can finish. Go, go, go. For both of you, for speed. Wrap it around. Yep, 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 yep. Touch it, touch it, touch it. That's good. Okay, okay. good. Yeah. Good judge. So good shot there from Clancy Grandy and man, Melissa, this is uh, this, I think, this is real tough yeah. if you're Taylor Reese Hansen. I think here, she's yeah. going to have to make a miracle on her first one just to even have a chance yeah. at scoring. Yeah. Yeah, just in it. I would agree. Right back. My first yeah, thought is, does it help you to peel those two blue guards out front? And peel. that way, you know, Clancy right wouldn't be able to cover off everything. So you might have a run or you might have a chance at getting to those two. But the hair high. Um, I don't mind this either. Yellow onto blue, onto the two on the button, and just hopefully now try and spill something to give her some okay. sort of chance on her last one. What's that? Sorry. I said make him go boom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, G, just like you can. Like a good one. Yep. 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 Whoa. Whoa. Yes. 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 Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh no. I think it's the overswept okay. it. Oh. Just needs to curl another inch, John. Not even half an inch. Yeah, very good try there from Taylor Reese Hansen, okay. but unfortunately, it's the same story now that it's been for most of the end. Clancy Grandy in complete control, Although, and you know, probably best is to just top this that. just a hair. Okay, like, like throw that. almost what I just threw. Yeah. Just, just because if we hang it, then, then she has an easier. That. Yep, I like that. Yeah. So just tap it a rock. Yeah. Like we don't even need to necessarily tap it in. We just need to kind of push, you know. It. Yep. Yeah. Like uh, no. I think a sliver less. Yeah. Like that look good? Uh, yeah, I like that. Okay. Yeah. I like it. Probably even if we come up to nose and top of the hair is okay. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Just very similar weight to my last. We just want to top the blue just a sliver over. Okay. Um, I like to take away that little hole there. Yeah, there's a okay. hole and she's So it seems, biting. Melissa, that they're I electing to tap here place. just because of okay. where that yellow so one rolled into the house. You guys sweep it. Yeah, okay. We just need to I think so. So there's two complications I think Clancy's trying to cover off here. One, if she ever hung this rock out in the rings and Taylor had any kind of triple, you know, that yellow one could come into play. The other problem is, is they do think that there is a port there for it to run, for Taylor to run her high yellow one through the port. So by doing this, number one, it'll negate the rock that's in the house, the yellow stone. And number two, it'll probably negate the ability to run that yellow one in. So great call here by Clancy. Just needs to move it about two inches. And that's enough. And there it is. You got it. Absolutely perfect. The silence speaking <laughs> volumes. Taylor and Megan, you <laughs> betcha. Uh, you betcha, there. John. Yeah. <laughs> Probably doesn't matter how long you look at it. It's uh, not going to change how bad this is. Do you want to talk about it? No, not really. <laughs> 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 Try it. Try and stuff it as much into the side of That's the really the wow. only shot she has, only yellow thing. onto yellow into the two blue on the button. Okay, let's do it. It's like pretty right. much nose. Yep. Well, and the problem there yeah. too is now with Clancy tapping Basically that nose. one in, if yeah. you miss the blues, Hair you're high. you're giving up Hair three low. and that's no, probably game Hair over. There. Okay. No, I think nose is that was good. Close. Nose is close, yeah. Right, 
Let's see, let's make some magic. Hey. We got this being nice and firm. All right, you got it, T, just like you can. So she will indeed need some magic here. Taylor Reese Hansen down five and needs to make a double yep. run yep. double yep. to yep. save yep. this hand. Hard. Hard. Really hard. Yep. Okay. Okay. Sydney okay. Brills on this right away, and that is a little too tight. And so it will be a steal of three for Clancy Grandy and a 12 to four lead. And that will indeed be the end of the game. So a great effort from Clancy Grandy, a bounce back from last night's 1-2 game loss. They will move on to tomorrow's final to play Corinne Brown. A phenomenal game for the number 13 ranked team in the world. We're going to take a quick break and we're going to come back and hear from the winning skip, Clancy Grandy. Hello, curling fans, and welcome back. We have seen the conclusion of the BC Scotties semifinal. Clancy Grandy, huge 12 to 4 winners over Taylor Reese Hansen, Melissa Saligo. Talk to me about that second half of the game for Clancy Grandy. They just put the pedal to the metal and really drove away from Reese Hansen here. Did they ever? Unbelievable, John. I, I think they almost curled close to 100% as a team. They were fantastic. And even when they did miss, it was only by a, a smidge here or there. They really put the pressure on their opposition. And, you know, in the first five ends, we never would have guessed it would got to this uh, at, at the end of this game. Yeah, no, just uh, a fantastic performance. And speaking of that fantastic performance, we have Clancy Grandy with us right now. Uh, first off, congratulations, Clancy. A phenomenal victory here in the semifinal. It seemed like uh, your team wanted to play very aggressively to start. There was a lot of rocks in play. Was that part of the plan coming in? Yeah, yeah, that's how we're comfortable. Uh, that's how we like to play. So we just said, let's play our game and try and dictate play. And we feel like we did that today, so we're happy. Congratulations, Clancy. This is Melissa. It's really good to have you in BC. I'm, I'm pretty you. excited to have you here. How are you feeling? I know, you know, it's really great to see such an athlete with, you know, with your experience. Maybe didn't have the greatest game last night. I know there was the, the, the situation last night, but to come back and do what you guys to, did today. How are you feeling? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we feel good. Um, we knew that last night we were kind of in control of our fate and unfortunately we just couldn't keep that control and let it slip a little bit. So we knew what we needed to do today. Um, we've worked hard all season to be able to kind of have that bounce back game. So we're really happy that we were able to pull that off today. Yeah, quite a bounce back today for sure. And so it is a, a rematch with Corinne Brown, game number three of this uh, BC Scotties. Uh, what are you going to do to prepare and, and to maybe turn it around because you're 0-2 you're against her so far? Yeah, I think we're feeling good. Um, we'll go get some food, some rest, and then come out tomorrow and just do what we did today and just try and play our game um, and just leave it all out there tomorrow. Wonderful. Well, congratulations, Clancy. A fantastic win here in the semifinal. We'll look forward to seeing you in the finals. We'll have that for you tomorrow at 9 a.m. For Melissa Saligo, I'm John Cullen. We're going to throw it back to the studio to Jeff, Stacy, and Elaine. Over to you guys to break it all down.